Anyway, the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday, the 21st of October. 21st of October. Wow. Um, 2023. Um, a look back on my week. The things, the weather, the politics, the things that annoy me. Um, the various bits and pieces. And, yeah, it's one litre. I'll come back to that later. Anyway, I'm going to try some special, well, one lot of special effects during this one. And I'll let you know when they're coming. Because um, I don't want you to be surprised and such like. Okay. Um, before I start, um, two weeks ago I mentioned, ah, right, okay, I've renewed my... Uh, uh, my car rescue thingy, uh, I can't remember what it is, it's via Liverpool, Victoria, green flag, I think it's green flag, it could be something else, who knows, uh, anyway, and I said the next thing that would happen is the mouth and foot painting artist cans, uh, car, cans, cards will arrive. And they did last week, and I forgot to mention them, they were in the notes. So I'm sorry about that. So the last and final thing, which will probably be nearer to Christmas, is the Radio User's Guide. He says, scratching his eye. Um, and then we'll have the full set and uh, Christmas will be on. I don't like to say that, but yeah, we're getting close to the clocks going back now and such like. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so the word or phrase of the week. Um, and I'm going to try it here. Um, Storm a Babeth. Ooh, I can't do it at all. Um, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I was supposed to get a rain thing, and you click on that, and then you come down, and it. Yeah, reactions are unavailable, probably because uh, detail is doing all the recording. So, rain, 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 rain. Uh, there you go. But it does work normally. I should have tested that beforehand. Storm Babeth, which apparently is a Dutch name, named by the Dutch Meteorological Office. Um, I have to say, here in the lovely Lower Rumley Valley, got away with it completely. Yeah, it's been a bit blowy and it's been a bit windy and uh, blowy and windy. And it's rained a bit, but Nothing like Scotland, where they've had a red rain alert and they've got another one starting tonight and all the way through Saturday. I have colleagues who work up there. Um, power cuts and such like. I think two people are dead there. Uh, this is serious. This is really serious. And normally for these storms, they come in and they blow out the sea and you're done. But this one is hanging around, which makes it even worse. So, um, okay. Yeah, um, we have autumn storms, we have spring storms, and I wish we had no storms, but what can you do? Anyway, so um, the app of the week, it's a web app. So what do I use for looking at tech news? Um, well, there's obviously tech meme, and then for security more so, bleeping computer, and occasionally it's the BBC tech page. And I've forgotten. Google News, where you can customize your news, where you get a lot of tech news, where you get far too much gaming news, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's a web app. It's also an app app on Android and iOS. And if you're looking for news and you want it split down into sectors, it's very good. Uh, it is, of course, free. And by free, I mean at no extra cost because it is Google and Google need to make their money somehow, and that's during uh, via ads. So they're collecting for on you. Nothing's free. There you go. Oh, yeah, the thing of the week. The thing of the week is news and the verification of news and such like. Okay, you're probably seen there was an explosion at a hospital which apparently demolished the hospital and 500 people died. Strange numbers that, 500 on the dot. Um, turned out the hospital was still there and there was no sign of the 500. In fact, that number didn't change. Now, usually with this sort of thing, the numbers of people injured and dying change. Yet everyone said, yeah, it's happened. 
Now, I'm tr not trying to take sides here, but that's an example of just repeating stuff without checking it uh, independently. And, of course, uh, there was a hospital on the Israeli side that had four rocket hits, which didn't seem to get mentioned. Uh, but there you go. So, um, watch out for news, because sometimes news isn't news. Sometimes the rush to get the news out means that it really isn't. And yeah, I've been guilty of it myself, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, and as usual, people are just dying. But there you go. Anyway, song of the week. And since we were talking about Christmas and the lead up to Christmas, here's a song that's either Christmas for me or the last day of my holidays abroad. Uh, I've used it as a ringtone. On a uh, Sony Ericsson 830, 820. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have done that because of copyright. It's um, Motorcycle Emptiness by the Manic Street Preachers. From uh, just up the road in Blackwood. It means a lot to me, that song. And it's really good. Uh, on Spotify and Apple Music, which is going to expire for me on the 3rd of November. Because that's when my trial ends and I'm sticking with Spotify. However, the Manics. Ah, right. Okay, let's get back to the uh, Saturday wrap. Last Saturday morning, after charging overnight, I got out my new lithium ion powered pressure sensitive, really nice and fast, Oral B um, toothbrush. Oh, here's the thing about it. In the week, I had a message from Amazon. Dear Mr. Nash, we bought this in the sale. They had the reference number and all that sort of stuff. Um, we are happy to tell you that the price has gone down and we are refunding, I think it's six quid fifty round there. And it was back in my account within about a couple of hours. I like that. And I also like the toothbrush. I like the pressure sensitivity stuff because I've been told not to press too hard when I'm brushing my teeth and I'm still on the first charge, which is much better than the nickel metal hydride ones that I've got at the moment. Uh, happy days, really happy days. Um, so after teeth brushed, caught a bus. The bus was on time. And it was a really early bus. It was a 10 to 6, no, 10 to 7 bus into Caerphilly. And the train, despite being a new train, was a couple of minutes late. And they take ages to open the door. But apart from that, acceleration is good. The seats are a bit hard, but they're nice. There's power sockets there. I'm quite impressed. Very impressed. And the guard was polite as well. So there you go. Um, into Cardiff, I had a free large cappuccino and 30% off my um, bacon roll in Costa Coffee. Mind you, I think I'm just making back the £7.55 that I was paying in Gloucester. However, the guy who was talking to who was serving me, really friendly, really good, Costa You've got some great stuff, to be perfectly honest. All right. Um, so then it was on to the gatekeeper for halves of the um, Autumn Beer Fest beers. And as I was going through them, I went on to Instagram and I saw this being advertised. And in an alcoholic days, I ordered it. And it came with a can and it came via Royal Mail. And although I had to sign for it, I didn't sign for it. And everything was fine and hats off to them, I say. But there you go. Sunday. Moving on. Sunday was a really nice day. Um, and I planted the last of my summer onions. They're all in now. Well, when I say they're all in, uh, until some bird pecks one out and I have to replant it. So I've got a couple of spares there. And all the small black bags of Desiree, they're all in. So I've got a couple of bags to empty out now. And that's the garden ready for winter. Sort of. Maybe. Whatever. Okay. Uh, right. Um, waking up on Monday morning. Oh, by the way, a week on. Yeah, my plumbing seems fine. It really does. Um, this Monday, there was a light frost. Only on the windscreen. 
um, and a bit of squirt with the icing fluid and it was gone and it didn't refreeze. But that's a sign. Um, my um, tomato plants are still there, but only just. And my pepper plants outside, they are still there. They're still going strong because they can take the odd frost. The rest of the week has been warmer. Um, when I say warm, I'm not exactly warm, but not quite as cold as perfectly honest. Uh, also on Monday, uh, I removed from the Edge browser the add-on Better Tweet Deck. Tweet Deck went quite some time ago. Now Better Tweet Deck has gone, and I see um uh, Mr. Musk, two new levels of buying into X Stroke Twitter. Um, before long, everyone's going to have to be a member. And if everyone's going to have to be a member, bye-bye. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm not staying around, to be perfectly honest. Uh, that's the thing. Tuesday, that refund. Really good. Um, Monday night, um, my bedside radio, the one uh, the Roberts play uh, with four rechargeable AA batteries in it. it all of a sudden just sort of died and things like that so straight on to amazon next day some new rechargeables charged up it's fine but the speed that they went and they were duracell rechargeables as well but what can you do to be perfectly honest um storm babeth babette uh, arrived on wednesday well wednesday for us um, and as I said, we didn't really have it. Um, other people have, as I've explained already. The people in Scotland, there's flooding, uh, power outages, mobile outages. Oh, no, not keen, not keen at all. Thursday morning, when my contact lens is in, lost one. Uh, these are monthlies, so it's not a good thing. And I wear them for two months. So I broke out a new pair. Put the new pair in, found the one that I lost. So um, that is now soaking with its compatriot in some dis, uh, disinfectant solution. And they're now my backup lenses. Uh, bodies. I'm against them, perfectly honest. Thursday. Yeah, Stein again. Friday. Uh, well, the flooding, the etc. The lots of it. Earth. Anyway, um, that was my week. Tomorrow and Sunday are the last days of the Weatherspoons Autumn Beer Festival. Although I have a feeling that their beers might go on for quite some time afterwards due to the fact that um, they've been selling them all. Well, I hope so anyway. So it's Newport for me. Let's see if the bus to Newport turns up on time. So that was my week. Um, yeah. Ooh, nearly 13 minutes. Better get out of here.